Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I got to clean out the uh, bottom of the central boiler, Classic Edge 350 here. The reaction chamber, I clean the ash out of it uh, every month maybe. Um, so today's the day. It's another snowy day here in western New York. Uh, it's not too cold today though, so we, we should be okay. So the first thing I do here is uh, I'll turn the power off so that nothing tries to run while I've got the bottom open and I'm scooping the ash out. So uh, let me get set up and uh, I'll get you guys moved around so you can see what I'm doing and we'll go from there. Pop this panel off, maybe, maybe not. Every day when I come out to load it, I run the scraper around where the door seal goes and scrape off any kind of creosote that's built up overnight. Um, I haven't been out here since uh, 8 o'clock last night, and it's just about 1 o'clock the following afternoon, so I'm right about, what's that, uh, 15, 16 hours or so that I've, the, the wood load lasted me, so not too bad. And there's still quite a bit in there. I can take you over to see. So the next step is I'll break everything apart in there, and I'll stir that all up good, get the corners all worked out. And then I'll get to shoveling out the bottom. All right, guys, so if you see inside the reaction chamber there, we got a pretty good load of ashes there. So I just take my shovel and scoop them out from the front the best I can. And then I gotta go around the back Open up the heat exchanger. Oh boy, swing and a miss. There is a temperature sensor down in there in the middle and I try try real careful not to hit that pull as much as I can to the front Let's go around to the back. So down here in the back, there's an access panel to the heat exchanger. So all I do is just lift up on this, slide that away, and set it off to the side. And you just open this door. That will expose the heat exchanger around the back here. All right, so this is the back side. It has a reaction chamber. Um, the fire burns on top. Forces the smoke down into the reaction chamber, reburns, sends the hot gas back through, up past the heat exchanger, and then out the chimney here. Um, I just gotta scoop out this ash here, and then I'll take the cleaning rod and run it along the sides of the heat exchanger just to make sure it's not plugged up. So if you watched my video uh, 
uh, two videos ago and I was I had to repair the boiler I am happy to report that the repair was successful I've had no more issues with the boiler going out on me which is great news because it's not the right time of year to have heating issues So you just take this little scraper and just kind of run it down there and get any build up on the inside here. Let's left that down. Alright, so close the door now. And we get the cover. Last thing I do back here is let me raise you guys up a little bit. All right. So the last thing I do back here is I'll pop the uh, clean out cover off the chimney real quick, scoop out whatever ash buildup is being here, and that'll do it for just a quarter turn and. Hold my shovel up there and kind of scoop it out. Okay, we got the ash all cleaned out. Um, now I'll just power the unit back on and we'll load it up and that'll do it. So, all right, we got a little fire in there. So I'll get some wood. I've only got a, I'll come back out here probably, you know, five or six hours from now. So I'm not gonna put a whole lot of wood in there, just enough to make sure I get through that point. gonna get it so I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch uh, if you like the video please subscribe uh, hit the like button and uh, share it with your friends and until next time get outside and do something you love